Hey, hey. Changes. So many changes. I'm back, y'all. Did you guys miss me? Because I certainly missed you. I missed you very, very much. But I am back. Uh, and there's been a few changes to this channel, to my situation. But thank you for sticking around. You guys are absolutely wonderful. So some of the changes. Oh, before I get started, let me say this. Uh, welcome to all the newcomers. I'm Simply Mike, and my channel is The Definitive Yo-Yo, where we talk mostly yo-yos. I do a few other things, but yo-yos is my main shtick on this channel. So, I got a new phone. Shout out to Samsung for dropping this hot bomb on everybody. Also, shout out to Moment, because they came through clutch with this very simplified case where I can put my lenses on. I'm not sponsored. <laughs> also, I got a few new yo-yos and we'll be doing reviews on these in the coming weeks. Also, you know what else I got? I got encouraged. I got DMs. I got voted one of the best reviewers on YouTube for yo-yos. That was an honor. I got some exclusives. Uh, some inside information about a couple of different uh, projects that's coming up. And I also got on Netflix. Can you believe it? I'm on Netflix. <laughs> it's really a um, blink and you miss it moment. So I'm going to give you a quick impression of me on Netflix. I'll take my Oscar at this address. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Seriously. Guys, you should see the Netflix docu-series, uh, We Are the Champions. They did a whole thing on uh, wigs and pet dancing, but the one on yo-yos is where I'm featured at. Like I said, it's really just a blink and you'll miss it moment, but you guys should watch it. Um, I was actually there when they were filming, obviously, um, and they actually captured the real spirit and the energy of a yo-yo contest. And if you've never been, this was one of the best ones uh, in 2019. It's really, really nice, and I think you guys should watch it. So, as I said before, I really did miss you guys. I've been thinking a lot about you guys, and this is one of the busiest breaks I've ever had. I had some job business that I needed to take care of. I had some family business I needed to take care of. I had some mental and emotional <laughs> I had some things I needed to get taken care of. But I haven't stopped thinking about you guys in these videos. Currently, I'm sitting on about nine videos. A couple of them are ready to go. I'll drop an extra one today with this video. And um, I got a few others in the works. So don't worry, I'm not going anywhere anytime soon. But I did want to let you know that we're going to be doing seasons now. I got the idea from William Guy about doing seasons. So from this point forward, this is going to be season two. And then next year, we'll do season three, so on and so forth. I'll organize it for you and put it in a nice little uh, playlist so that you can just follow along at your leisure. All right? So this, today's video, is going to be my top 25 yo-yos of 2020. I do know this is a little early and that some yo-yos are still coming out, but this is the bulk of like what's hot and what's good and the more notable ones. A few extra sprinkled in throughout. So check this out and I will check you out at the end of the video. Welcome to our first episode of season two. Today we'll be counting down our top 25 yo-yos for the year. Now, I judge by how much excitement and buzz these yo-yos stirred up. Some were fire out of the gate, and others were sleeper hits. Let's dig right in with our first yo-yo, the dunk. A lot of people went crazy over this yo-yo, even a slim version, so it must be nice. They sold out pretty quickly. the Magnum Opus. This is a 7075 version of the Mark Mark Classic. And again, a lot of people went goo goo and crazy over this because it sold out almost immediately. Nice to see that it's still relevant. 
the hypothesis. This is a bimetal interpretation of the synthesis from a couple of years ago. Thesis Noyos is really known for their serenade. Very nice. The Kappa. Challenging the status quo, the Kappa brings two disparaging elements together. Renway the competitor and comfortable organic in one unique presentation. The Night Moves X. Resurrecting this from the dead, I Yo Yo takes over for the now defunct Yo Yo Jam on this one. And under the cap, something very familiar. The P-40 Warhawk. This is still one of the best spinners in the game. And I understand Brad having to back away from Circle City to take care of what needs taken care of. But if you're going to end things with a bang, then this is definitely the bang you want to end things on. The Beanie. So yeah, we love the Beanie. Uh, and I'm glad it got a full release. There's another second release in the works. And it's very fun and chill at that $50 mark. And Billy straight hooked it up with that exclusive colorway. The Deluge. So, the pop art gets a solid honorable mention from me. But this is so not Rain City Skills. I had to make this a little bit more notable for that reason. But if you can get one, please do, because this thing does not disappoint. The aluminum freehand. So it was the aluminum butterfly that raised eyebrows when it dropped. But the freehand made players go goo goo and gaga over it. And Steve Brown's signature collab series went over like gangbusters. the deeper state so when it comes to one drop there's a lot to consider the rev 2 the intro the nitro a new downbeat and the halifax but this deeper state seeks to add options to the responsive player wider catch a little bit more stability it still plays like the original but if you want to get into some string tricks the answer is still eh. <laughs> the memento I love this yo-yo, and it's one of those sleeper hits that I mentioned. Its chill nature may cause you to gloss over how good this thing is, but me and Mike Monty both suggest that you do not do that. <laughs> the BMC. So, I missed the original cadence, and I'm glad I missed it. Because this yo-yo is as good, if not better. It's one of my favorite mono medals for this year. The Legacy. So I've seen pictures around the internet about this yo-yo, and there's one on its way. So we'll do a proper review in a few weeks. But this thing looks exceptional. The Mecha Bapezilla. Originally an anti-yo creation, the Mecha Bape comes in as a dope organic. The closest thing I've come to any anti-yo-yo-yo is the licensed Countach by OneDrop. And if this plays anything like that, then you got real fire on your hands. The Converge. So MK1 is a brand you should be on the lookout for. They have that Umbra and that Exia. Mark and his friends go full on competitive with this yo-yo. And I haven't had any experience with it, but knowing Mark like I do, this yo-yo should perform like pure fire. The Nostalgia. And I've never been disappointed by any unparalleled yo-yo. I wasn't able to get this because I had other things I was going for, but this looks pretty consistently dope, like I know unparalleled is capable of. The Ultimatum. I honestly didn't think any more could be done in the Edge series. And although this yo-yo comes in last, it certainly is not the least. This is my daily carry. And another one of my favorite mono metals. 
the Galaxy Diver 6061. So C3 is really pushing variety with their diverse lineup. The Edo Last is an outstanding yo-yo, but this one, this is dope as well. Super dope, actually. The Steel Shutter. So this yo-yo comes completely out of left field because I didn't even know it was in the works until Gentry dropped a teaser in the beginning of November. This is pretty interesting. A very interesting take on a classic. The Aotus. So although I don't have any experience with Monkey Finger, I do know some people whose bulk of their collection is made up of Monkey Finger. And this looks like it sits right at home with the rest of them. The Speedaholic Double X. I'm going to put it out there that this is the best plastic yo-yo that's been made this year. It gives you a few options, especially with that finger spin hub. And I'll say it, this is the best version of the Speedaholic thus far. The Movement. It's always nice to see SF do a drop. And the Movement fits right in line with their design language. Plus, I heard it plays as good as the statement, which is very nice to know. The Vindicator. Although this came out last year, uh, in 2020, it really hit its stride. And if you haven't gotten this yo-yo yet, please do. It's one of the best of this year. The Doombot. This yo-yo kicks it up to 11. I've seen pictures of it, haven't experienced it, but it looks like it will haul much behind. <laughs> it has a $470 price tag, so I doubt that I'll ever get the chance to experience this. But it is one of the dopest looking yo-yos this year. So in all my excitement, I almost forgot the Peregrine. A full review already exists on my channel, but this is one of the best this year as well. And before we get to number one, let's do a couple of honorable mentions. Although I didn't put these yo-yos in any particular order, I did save the best for last. This is the Titanium Wisteria by Damien Puckett. And guess what? A review copy is in my possession. <laughs> so, we're going to check that out in the next video. But suffice it to say, there's a reason this is my number one yo-yo for 2020. We'll get into the where's and why for's in the next video when I do a proper and full review. Okay, that's been my estimation of the top 25 yo-yos plus a few more released in 2020. A hectic year, but we came through it all nicely. And I wanna thank you for welcoming me back and being my number one fans. Peace. <laughs>